It's a gorgeous start over York, Maine. Known for its panoramic views and historic charm, the coastal town is a quick hour and a half drive north of Boston. As the fall rolls in, the pace slows down, making it the perfect time to take in the beauty and attractions of this New England gem. Such as the Nubble Lighthouse. For over a century, it has guided ships safely along the rugged Maine coast. Lobsterman Grant Hubbard knows a lot about this lighthouse, as well as the area. His family has been giving tours on the finest kind scenic cruises for nearly 70 years. My parents started the business in 1956 as a, a way to, to uh, stay occupied during the summer because they were uh, teachers during the wintertime locally. Arguably, one of the best ways to see York, or any part of Maine for that matter, is on the water. Wow, it's just gorgeous out here. We join Hubbard for a haul. Hello. And learn a bit about the heart of Maine's heritage. What is it about lobstering and Maine that is such a big part of the culture here? Well, the fact the water is really cold, it's very rocky. There's uh, 3,500 miles of really rugged coastline, pollution free, nutrient rich, cold, perfect habitat for these guys to live. While cruising, we pass the Cliff House Resort and Spa, perched atop the cliffs of Cape Nettick. This oceanfront retreat has views of the Atlantic Ocean from each of the 226 rooms, offering guests a blend of luxury and natural beauty. The views are like tremendous. In the, the fall and the winter, the waves are just incredible and they go to the top of Bald Head Cliff, which is almost 100 feet high, and it's, it's just, it's just incredible. The property dates back to the 1870s. Over the years, it's gone through many reinventions. In 2018, the resort completed its last major renovation. We want it to feel really coastal chic, very stylish. Guests can dine at one of five spots on property, including its signature restaurant, Tillers. Our inspiration is the ocean, as well as the farmland and the garden. So we take both of those influences and do a modern American fare. Specialty dishes include fall favorite pumpkin risotto with seared scallops. It's the season for the pumpkins, so we roast them down. We make a beautiful blend out of it. Some nutmegs, some cinnamon, some sumac. That just pairs beautifully with the seared scallops, which are right from Nantucket. Okay, everybody also should have a paper towel in their non-painting hand. Hotel guests can also take a beginner art class from the in-house artist, Rick Della Bernarda. Southern Maine has attracted artists going back to the early 1900s. Many, many famous artists have come and painted in this area, especially Bald Head Cliff, which the Cliff House is built upon. Or choose to relax at the spa. It is a beautiful spa, and the sanctuary in the spa, which is a relaxation room, feels as if you're suspended in air, and we have beautiful treatments. Not too far from the Cliff House is the shops at Cape Nettick. Housed in a two-story, 200-plus-year-old barn, it's a collection of boutiques offering an assortment of unique goods. Every nook and cranny filled. It can be overwhelming. We represent about 20 local artisans. Different styles, different price points, and we say, if you see it, you better buy it. I've seen people say, I'll think about it. They come back down and it's gone. Jeannie Lombardi, Maureen Bang, and Linda Forrester created the concept in 2014. Lombardi says it was supposed to be a six month pop up. And then we grew and everybody wanted to join us because they liked the concept that everybody works and everybody shares in the overhead. We donate a lot to local causes. It's good for the community just being here. For a taste of the community, stop by the York Beach Beer Company, says owner Dave Rowland. We are a fully operational brewery. Everything that you drink here, we brew here from grain to glass, as they say. This local brewery offers a wide range of brews from IPAs to rich stouts, all made with love because this business, after all, is a family affair. My father, Dave, also Dave, um, is my business partner. He's, he's the numbers guy and I'm the beer side and the production side. My mother helps run the bar, my sister is our general manager, and my wife runs our food truck. After losing his job as a high school history teacher, Roland decided to follow his passion and start making beer. 
He first opened Some Beer, also in York, followed by York Beach Beer Company. This was an opportunity to do something that I always dreamed of. A fun twist here, an assortment of beer cocktails, Beach Runner, Flannel Rita, the list goes on. You know what I love? They all taste so different. We make about 10 different cocktails um, with a lot of the same base beers, but with different spirits. And then honestly, if you got an idea, we'll try it out. We'll drink to that and to York, Maine.